When Irishmen travel, the strangest things happen, the stuff of which epics and legends are made. St. Brendan fought demons with words of salvation, while Corrigan's errors won him accolades. If adventure and danger are your steady diet, then drop all your cares and come travel with us. As I sing you about the calamity Cayley we threw for the ill-fated Luxembourg bus. Oh, the lakes of Killarney were glittering in sunlight and flowering gorse could be seen everywhere. When Eddie, our crucified Irish employee, our tour guide and coach driver extraordinaire, he halted our coach when we got in a traffic jam, climbed out to see what had caused all the fuss. When we saw him again, he was shaking with laughter and said we'd been stopped by a Luxembourg bus. It's, it's a, a coach, coach, not a bus, can't you yanks get it right? And what is that thorn bush with flowers so bright? But of course it's the gorse, it's the root of all evil, and oh my god, Harry will drink well tonight. Their driver spoke German, their tour guide was English, she told him turn left, so of course he turned right. An outcrop of rock made him swerve in a bottleneck, leaving his coach and a car wedged in tight. The passengers, all student tourists from Luxembourg, laughed at the driver who started to cuss. So we broke out our instruments, started a Cayley for all of the folks from the Luxembourg bus. We played him some polkas and jigs in a hurry to soothe battered ego and calm frazzled nerve. Then taught them to dance all around in a circle and clapped as they tackled the dancing with verve. Then the guard arrived and he ended our Cayley by having the students pick up the car thus, sending all of us scrambling back in a hurry and saying farewell to the Luxembourg bus. It's a coach, not a bus, can't you yanks get it right? And what is that thorn bush with flowers so bright? But of course it's the gorse, it's the root of all evil, and oh my god, Harry will drink well tonight. Now our fame is musicians who'd played at the roadside soon spread throughout Kerry and down into Cork. And hundreds of folks came to hear us that evening who toasted the band from PA and New York. But the very next morning we headed for Tarbor to cross the broad Shannon and drive to kill Rush. As we rounded a corner we all gasped together crying, Oh my God, Harry, the Luxembourg bus. The Luxembourg driver crept onto the ferry by scraping his bumper and dragging his stern. The shower of sparks was exceedingly frightful, but Eddie just laughed and said he'll never learn. Now I'll show you just how a coach driver from Ireland fearlessly boards any ferry boat plus. I can do it without any damage or fireworks faster by far than the Luxembourg bus. It's a coach, not a bus, can't you yanks get it right? And what is that thorn bush with flowers so bright? But of course it's the gorse, it's the root of all evil, and oh my god, Harry will drink well tonight. He revved up the engine and rolled on the ferry, then expertly stopped the great coach on a dime. We restarted the Cayley and played across the Shannon, an absolute guarantee brilliant time. The Luxembourg students were learning to river dance, even their driver and guy joined the rush. For to master the siege and the haymaker's jig before having to board the old Luxembourg bus. So here's to those bold student tourists from Luxembourg bumping and grinding from Kerry to Clare. And a warning goes out to all drivers in Ireland, if ever you see them, you'd better beware. For whenever they get in the mood to be dancing, it just might be your car they happen to crush. As a pretext for learning to dance the gay Gordon before driving off in their Luxembourg bus.